Hi everyone, good day to you all. Today I wanted to talk about how to zero a handgun, or at least how I zero a handgun, because there's a few ways to do it, of course, and there's nothing wrong with those other methods. And uh, additionally, I wanted to talk a bit and give a review of the Easy Shoot Laser Bore Sighter, which I have here. Now, full disclosure up front, uh, I was sent this from the company themselves. Uh, you can get this off of their Amazon page, or I believe they have a website as well. Um, but of course, since I did get this for free, I really did want to mention it up front because that will, of course, uh, impact uh, a bit about how I talk about things. And of course, it's going to introduce a bit of bias. That is something you'll want to keep in mind. So, very first thing, uh, we're going to go ahead and review this, unlike my normal review process, where I've already done stuff a lot off camera. I figured the best way to actually review a bore sighter would just be to do it on camera because if it fails then we'll know immediately and the nature of a bore sighter is a little different than the other type of gear reviews I do. And this works out too because I just got a milled slide back for my P320 which I will have a video on next week. So this comes with the batteries you'll need. You can see uh, this actually takes three batteries but you have six here so two sets which is nice. Um, and these are a little bit of the smaller ones, so of course uh, you probably don't have them lying around, but since they do ship it with two sets, that's pretty good. And these are supposed to have an optimal runtime of one hour each, so that is good. Alright, so I've got this out of the box here. So, like um, I've used other bore siders in the past, never for the 9mm. Uh, this will be nice though, because uh, it'll save a good bit of ammo, that's the benefit of... of uh, doing a bore cider. It does save quite a bit of ammo versus just kind of zeroing it in with uh, a lot of rounds. And by the way, I just realized when I was putting this together, I did misspeak earlier. Uh, it takes two batteries, so you have three sets, uh, not three batteries per. So here we go. You can see it's on now. Uh, this is one of those where uh, it just turns on. There's no off switch. So when you're done using this, you will, of course, want to take the batteries out. There's no point in needlessly draining them. So how you're going to want to bore sight is, uh, of course, you're going to want to put this into the chamber. So you can see right here, we're all unloaded and of course it's locked back. So you'll just drop that right in. And then I usually like to just gui guide the slide forward. Uh, this is supposed to be high durability and all that, but uh, there's no point in needlessly bashing it up. So it'll be a bit hard to show it on camera, but I'm gonna move really quick to uh, have a target and a stand and all that set up so I, I can talk a bit about the next step in bore sighting. Okay, so I've got the handgun set up, uh, just in a rest, which I would not recommend you to normally use when you're actually zeroing the handgun. Personally, I find that shooting a handgun off of a rest is such an awkward position, it makes you less accurate than shooting it offhand. Um, that's my personal experience. But for actually bore sighting it, this works quite well. So uh, I'm gonna overlay the other camera here because it's a little hard to see on this camera, but you can see the Laser is downrange, pointing pretty close to the bottom left bullseye. When you're bore sighting, uh, you don't actually need to use a bullseye, you could just use a wall or whatever. Uh, what you're going to want to do is to line up your sight here, which you can see there's my red dot, and you're going to want to line it up with the uh, laser downrange. So in my case, so hopefully you can see downrange, it is very close to being just right on top of that laser. So the next step, of course, you should absolutely verify the zero is correct out at the range. Um, this easy shoot laser bore sighter, uh, they do test it at the factory to make sure that it's on, but uh, you definitely want to make sure that it is correct. Uh, when I actually go out to the range and zero this, personally, I usually use about three to five rounds per string. Uh, there's no need to do 10. I like doing 10 shot strings for accuracy tests, but when you're just zeroing, as long as you're grouping pretty well, you can just do it with three uh, if you're, you know, grouping quite well, or five, and uh, that saves you a lot of ammo. So we'll see out at the range how close this actually got, but uh, it does look like it is quite close to where it needs to be. And yeah, as I said, I'll just make the final adjustments out there. So I'm out at the range now, got my P320, going to be testing this at the same range that I bore sighted it, of course, so 15 out there uh, and I'm just going to start with five rounds uh, supported off the bag. I did mention I prefer to shoot offhand but this way it just isolates the gun and if I'm grouping well then I will switch to just shooting offhand from there. So starting with five and also uh, if I am grouping well I'm also going to switch to just doing like three shot groups after this but let's see how it does. Just using 115 grain blazer so 
should be pretty decent. Here we go. I'll aim at the center and just doing five, as I said. Well, I pulled that one a little bit. I can see the first one did hit uh, where it should be based on where I have the bore slider going. All right. So for the sake of brevity, I will have cut out a bunch of the zeroing footage because it gets really boring. In total though, uh, just to talk about how it went, I fired 25 rounds total with zeroing, which is great. Uh, the last time I had to zero a handgun, I used slightly over 50. So this bore sighter about halved the amount of ammo I had to use, which is great. Especially nowadays with ammo being a lot more expensive and kind of rare, not really with nine millimeter, but certainly more expensive than it used to be. So that's cool. Uh, I've had mixed experiences in the past with bore sighters. Um, and it really depends on what type of ammo you're using as well. In my case, as I mentioned, I'm using 115 grain blazer ammo. And with this, it pretty much shot exactly where the bore sighter was aiming. If you use heavier rounds or really light grain bullets, you, your, your mileage will most likely vary. So just bear that in mind. But at least in this case, uh, this bore sighter actually did really well for me. Uh, one other thing, um, in the description and probably in the comments as well, um, they... Uh, Easy Shoot sent me a coupon code if any of you are interested in picking up a bore cider. Uh, as I said, this worked well, at least for me. So if you're interested in picking that up, I'll have that down there in case you want to get a little bit of a discount as well. So that covers it. Just pretty basic on how to zero your handgun and just a pretty good bore cider overall, I would say. So one last thing I did want to touch on that I didn't mention earlier is how to remove the bore cider from your weapon when you're done using it uh, because it does stick a little bit in the chamber. That's normal uh, as I found from using other bore ciders. So what I normally do is I'll take, you can see here, I just have a polymer, very simple cleaning rod. And of course, just inserting it from the muzzle end here and just gonna give it a light tap. And I'm gonna kind of, uh, you'll hopefully be able to see this, but I'm kind of holding this in a weird way. That way I don't drop it out all the way, um, but just a light tap and it's out. So thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions about this or anything else or about how to zero your handgun or what, anything whatsoever in the comments below. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.